Well, um, I tried recording this the other day, and I thought it was recording, and it wasn't. I got, like, the last little clip. It's just, I, I don't, I don't even really know. Um, but we have found a fortress. Um, I'm actually kind of glad that it didn't record all of the last one because I kept calling it another fortress and it's obviously not another fortress and I understand that so yeah but um we actually have been using nuker a lot with just a regular diamond pickaxe taking out all of these uh mossy bricks and cracked bricks because they are really great decorative pieces um the ones that are not broken are because Nuker recognizes them as a different block because they are silverfish blocks. So, yeah. Um, we have a portal here. Uh, one of those creative gates that goes straight from our place. And in here is the end portal. And as you can see, we have that spawner lit up, but it still does spawn silverfish. We keep the door closed. Um, I just thought I'd kind of show you around. It doesn't seem like it's super big right now, but trust me, it is extensive. Um, it, it's kind of inlaid with a, um, with an abandoned mine shaft. Um, so we've got a ton of places to go. I have done some caving around the area um other than taking out all these beautiful blocks because we really just want to preserve the uh the, the end portal that's what we want to preserve we don't really want to preserve anything else it's not really worth it um so like i said it's extensive as all hell oh hello zombie i got a pretty awesome sword i enchanted one oh shit fuck there we go. It's got fire aspect one, knockback one, sharpness two. I also enchanted a diamond pickaxe, unbreaking three, fortune two, efficiency five, and I got a shovel two, but that's not really important. And I have repaired my bow. So, got that all taken care of. Wow, this place. I'm wondering why it was spawning so many mobs, and this is why. Because nothing is lit up the way it should be. You see, abandoned mine shaft. Told you. Can't say I didn't, because I did. Um, I actually uh, <laughs> explored this the first time using Fulbright, and I was like, why are there so many mobs? It's all lit up. Like, why are there so many mobs? Oh, yeah, I probably want to notice that there is absolutely no torches anywhere. And you can see how far down this is. I mean, it's it's right at bedrock level, nearly. So I've just been kind of mining to get levels because I find that you get a lot of levels really fast when you mine, especially when you get things that um, like lapis, diamonds, coal, redstone. They all give you experience when you mine them. So I've been doing a lot of that. Especially in this new area, we finally got a new cave system to explore and get uh, get items from. So um, we have found a couple of enchanted books, um, not very many. Fucking water. <sighs> but we did demolish two of the libraries that were found with this uh, Nether Fort. Or, there I go again. With this fortress. And that allowed us to get an extremely large amount of books. Um, so we did use levels to enchant them that way to get enchanted books. Um, we have also used multiple other... We've, we haven't really used a whole lot of books, I guess. Uh, we've just been kind of taking a shot in the dark and seeing what we get with just the enchanting table. But Les did enchant a whole bunch of books, and he got some pretty good ones, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh my god, fucking lava. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, shut up. to share that we got a pretty freaking awesome fortress that we found. Um, just been kind of exploring this mine shaft because it is extremely humongous. There are tons of mobs, um, but there are also a lot of valuable resources such as gold and diamonds, iron, coal. Um, obviously, I, I said that we had found some other books. Valuable spawners have been found. Um, we found some, but we have not kept most of them purely because most of them were either silverfish or venomous spiders, and we really are just looking for uh, creeper spawners, which I don't even know. Do they even make creeper spawners in cave systems? I don't even know. So somebody should let me know. Um, we really just need creeper and uh, some skelly spawners. I mean, we do have the one. It'd be great if we could get a few more, and there comes the leg. Fucking great. Um, so yeah, so, and as you can see, there are immense, 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 immense areas. Um, if only I could show you how big the, actually, let me go into my x-ray editor here. And let's see what I can do. I don't know if they show special blocks or not. Apparently they don't show mossy anything, which is weird. I thought they did. Well, there you go. Notice being a douchebag. Yep, it says moss stone, but it doesn't have moss stone bricks. And that's what I want. Well, maybe I'll have to send a little message to notice and tell them to get their shit together and get me what I want. Or who knows, maybe it just won't ever happen. <sighs> I did a lot of like, blocking things off around here because there are so many stuff. There's a lot of mobs and right over here there was, I think right here, I think right here there was a spider spawner. But I mean, as you can see, there's freaking mobs all over the place like crazy. There is no stopping of any of them. They just love to rape everything and anything that it comes in contact with. So, we, well, I, have been doing a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, pwning like crazy. Ah! Uh, and then, obviously, you can see that it wraps right back around, and here we are at the fortress again. So, yeah, I just thought I would show you guys that. Um, I'm pretty sure there are immense amounts of videos on the internet, on the YouTube, of what a fortress looks like. It's basically a giant castle that's hidden somewhere that you can find with eyes of ender. Or you may even just possibly come across it. Um, so I just thought I would share that with you because it was pretty exciting. I've never found a fortress in my entire life, and then we found one. So. <laughs> Pretty great. Left used a couple eyes of vendors and found it, and here we are. So, until next time, guys, see you later.